Good weekend, Vinny. Yeah, so let me uh, break it down for you. I would love weekend. it if you would break it down for yeah. me. Bring out the whiteboard. Yeah. So uh, you got the telestrator. Can you show me where this, this play I, went bad? <laughs> yes, I can actually. <laughs> it was Saturday evening when my wife left for Connecticut. Mm. It's never a good start for a story. And uh actually it's a good start for like a penthouse forum story. So I started also, checking my online dating profiles. Also, you know, also, just to see <laughs> if anyone was interested. Actually, I haven't I used them in months, but I just want to see if I had gotten any bites. And what do you know? <laughs> Tina. <laughs> Sasha. I just uh, want to know how many ultimate bacon cheeseburgers you had since then. None. None? But I'll get to it later. All right. That's Sunday. So Saturday, <laughs> uh, I beat StarCraft 2. Finish that up. Hooray. Done. What's that about? Uh, started playing through some of the challenges. Got about halfway through it. And I, I think I'm pretty much done with StarCraft 2. Oh, yeah. Man. I think I had the multiplayer Maybe. screen sit open for a little bit. Just yeah. kind of like. You didn't even try. Do I want to get in there? You didn't <laughs> even try. But I played like seven matches in my head. And then I was like, <laughs> nah, I think I'm good. And I end it. I will say a little disappointed at the ending of StarCraft 2 for the Terrans. We'll see what happens moving forward. But uh, it kind of drops you off. Just kind of ends. You're like, oh, well, it does. I mean, something momentous happens. Like, is every thread addressed? No. Yeah. Like, are there still many lingering questions? Absolutely. Sure. But do I want, do I want to happens. play the next installment? Something sure. happens. Yeah. There is an ending. Uh, so then after that, <laughs> so then I still have my Gamefly account, right? Yeah. And, I, I think you're the last man standing on that. No, Brad, I've still got, uh, still I'm got on, uh, I think I'm on month five of Bayonetta at this point. Nice. Exactly. I could have bought well. Bayonetta like twice by now. Well, I was kind of in a similar, similar situation with the game I had, and I finally decided that I would play it. And it was Terminator Salvation. Oh, my God. So, so wait a minute. Hang on a minute. How long have you been holding on to Terminator Salvation? When did Terminator Salvation come out? <laughs> That's not true. No, it's 2009. Because you, you, you had prototype until, yeah. like, last week. <laughs> yeah, no, it's been a while. It's been, it's been at least a month or so. Or a couple. So I beat it. That game. Wow, you spent all of the four and a half four, hours yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So that was actually Saturday night after I beat StarCraft 2. I popped it in. I was like, I'm going to get this out of the way because I should return this or buy it. Or, and I'm not going to buy it. No. So, yeah. So something needs to be done. Uh, so literally like three and a half hours. Yeah, it's hour. a yeah. short, short, short game. <clears throat> and then I'm not a big points guy, but a thousand points. Man. Like, did you play it on hard? Through. I think it's, you have to play well, it on hard to get could, them all. You could right? play it on easy and then start a co-op hard campaign and then have do a little thing where you like save your easy campaign to another like directory oh. and then start a hard mission select uh, from your new save uh-huh. and then you get you just beat that last level, which is about. Ten minutes. That's a lot of work Man. for a guy who says he is not. I should do that. Well, because you points. wind up, you wind up going through it uh, with. Pretty much all the achievements, except for two. Did you one. figure that out, or did you like troll oh, that off? Some I looked it up. Okay, yeah, because I was like, dude, I have all these achievements except for this one, and I'm not playing this again. Yeah. So you do, in fact, care about points. Well, it's it's more the completionist than the sure. points. Like, if there were like seven achievements I didn't get, it would have been back in the mail already. Anyway, it took about twenty minutes, and uh, so right. about four hours. Mm-hmm. And saying for all the people who like their thousand points, I mean, the game is. Is really weird. Obviously, you played through yes. the whole thing. There are like two enemy types. Like yeah, two. there's there's the bikes. There's the I don't know the kind of cra- crabby ones. There's the yeah the T five hundreds or whatever, which are like the kind of retarded looking yeah, Terminators skin jobs. Yeah, like the early skin jobs. Damn. And then there's like eight and no eight chase sequences that no go on forever at all. It's a it's a weird weird game. Uh, the, the coolest thing about that game is the loading screen is just like the, the metal, the exoskeleton from the Terminator, but you get to move it with your analog sticks while it's loading. So you can make them like look at you. That's about the coolest thing. <laughs> so then Sunday came around and, uh, I went to KFC and this is what okay. I, this is what I do when nobody's you got watching a skin job. Me. I got eight, a bucket of eight skin jobs, <laughs> extra spicy, uh, and you know you're doing something wrong. No, I mean, let me tell you. Literally, did you get the, the? They don't have that everywhere yet, do they? The skin, skin job, the skin sandwich. No, is that well, they, what yeah, it's the, the double down or whatever yeah. it is. There's they, it's a skin witch, I think. Oh, is god. Actually, oh god, really? That is awful. <laughs> really? It's like five chicken skins put together. It's, I, and it's, it's, no, it's, it's not even worth that. talking about. It's not even Dude. worth talking about. <laughs> but they they're <laughs> awful. They're trying to follow up on the like, what the fuck of the double down with other stuff. No, they don't to get people excited about their products. 
So I went in and I ordered the eight piece family meal or whatever uh, for my family. Uh-huh. But they were gone. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I got home uh, and no one was there. And everybody's so. like, this is all going to go bad. Who's going to eat these four biscuits? <laughs> right. I am. Vinny yeah. will. Uh, and then the side of mashed potatoes and the side of uh, the potato wedges, which are actually really good. They make Sometimes them... they're really good. Sometimes they're oh, really okay. bad. Yeah. yeah. If, you get them, if you get them, they're too chewy. They're, I find that they're what usually bad. Steak. What a glorious mistake yeah, to make. Were you, were you, uh, so, so I was going to ask, were you eating the chicken directly out of the bucket? What else are you going to do? <laughs> we're going to dirty that's, a plate? Yeah. That's, that's KFC. It's not worth a plate. That's when you know it's gone bad. Yeah. Well, and also Plates like are for lovers. Dipping, taking the mashed potatoes with a fork and then just dipping that <laughs> into the gravy. You know, like, <laughs> that's still in the All right. Oh, man, I thought okay. you were going to say you dip the chicken into the mashed potatoes <laughs> and then dip <laughs> that in the gravy because that's the way to eat it. <laughs> I felt terrible. Um, I know some of the South big, big fans of potato as condiment. Hmm. The potato salad on the hot dog. Mm, I've never. What? Oh, interesting. Who knows that? Uh, I've seen. I've oh, seen images of oh. you with a plate of food with that on no, it. No, that was coleslaw. Never me. Oh, okay. never me. Potato salad. Coleslaw. Side. On yeah. Hell on yeah. Hot dog? Really? Mustard, onions, chili, and coleslaw. Wow. Like That's like a big mayonnaise coleslaw, or mm, like just more like cabbage. It's well, that's well, got in it. Then I, then I guess I had that idea. I want to try potato salad on mm. a hot dog. On a Sounds potato bun. Chunky. Well, you know, you, you, know, you, you got to get the, the on, finer I, stuff. I have the photographic evidence right here. That's, that's really going to play well on this podcast. I'm going to look at it. Well, so then the highlight, the highlight of my day before, before I killed myself with KFC. <laughs> it was not the Kentucky Fried Chicken? No, that was like the queer Weird. decline. Okay. Where it's like, like, I shouldn't have done this. It's like, yeah, it's, I got home and I was really excited and then like, the darkness started creeping in as like the pants started coming off. I'm like, I'm actually uncomfortable now. Dude. Why were you wearing them in the first place? Well, I had to go to the KFC. I mean, just take them off before you eat. Like once you get home, yeah. It was just Lose like the pants, the, the slime on my face. Just like, what am I? What have I become? You start getting cheek sweats. That's always a good like, sign that sitting on the couch bed. naked, watching television, just eating Kentucky Fried Chicken, burning through all the liquid, in my, like just empty uh, containers of like water and yeah. stuff. Just like, Seven cups. Oh, so and- thirsty. Oh, God. <laughs> Shit, it's so salty. Um, I, I played through uh, Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light. Yeah. Awesome. Good that, game. That game is great. It's fun. Yeah. I played through the entire thing and then went back and started playing again. Nice. Yeah. So that was that was really fun. I'm not really enjoying it. I, no? I think that yeah. game's... Yeah, I think it's solid. I, I, the, it. I, I got to the level where, the, like, the first time where they kind of split you up and you got to find the sun discs or whatever. Yeah. Did Found- you play with somebody else? No. Okay. Got two of them and went... I, you know, I'm, I'm, good. I'm good. I find that most of the levels aren't that like open ex- yeah. explorey though. That's kind of the yeah. exception. That's not. That's not how most of the levels. I, just, I don't really like the combat so much. There were a couple points where I got. Uh, there was one point where I was coming out of one of the extra rooms or whatever, mm-hmm. and it checkpointed me right there mm-hmm. uh, with not a ton of health, and a truck was exploding <laughs> as it saved. So it's like. I was respawning. The truck was would explode, and there were like nine guys like standing at that doorway. And I kind you have, of, you have kind a knack of for finding yeah. these yeah. doomsday situations, Jeff. I kind, of, kind of died over and over again <laughs> until I got really good. And, uh, and then after that, I went a little further and just kind of... Uh, Built in tutorials. You know, the perspective stuff seems weird. It seems really arbitrary where it's like, this is an item you can't stick the staff into because it disappears when you try to. And that's because we said so. Because that's going to break this puzzle if you do. Yeah. Yeah, I don't there, know. There were, there's, there's been like three cases where I've thought like, oh, I could totally solve that with like this. And it's been like, no, dude, just go roll this ball over here and jump from there. I'm like, I don't want to. I, I don't know. I found the pacing to be to be fine. Like like to get some of the challenges you have to burn through. The thing I really like the most about that game is they do the Resident Evil 5 uh, thing really well. Again, where it's like you get all these weapons that power you up and stuff like right. that, and then you could just play through any level you want again with, with, all, that with, stuff. Stuff. with all that yeah. stuff. And then, like by doing that, by playing through it really quickly or getting a high score, you get, you get more, more stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's it's uh, no, it's it's like parts of it seem really neat. Like I'm not I'm not saying I hate it or anything like that, but it's it just definitely not clicking with you. It, yeah, it didn't it did not inspire me to sit there and play it all in one sitting or or right. anything like that. I, well, the biggest bummer I had was like I'm really enjoying it. Right, I'm going through uh, single player, really enjoying it, and like every hour or so, I check my friend list to see if anybody else is playing online. Be like, yeah. oh, this would be awesome. I should play this co op, and then remember Realizing that like, there's oh, no there's online, no, online yeah, co op, yeah. and then forgetting again, being like, oh man, somebody else must be playing this. I'm gonna play. It. Oh, yeah, there's no... I got a message from someone while I was playing. It's, hey, you want to play some co-op? And I write back and say, I'm sure, but unless you live next door... We're, that's not happening. Well, that's not happening. And also, if you live next door, that's creepy. <laughs> so it's not happening either way. Uh, 
so yeah, so I really enjoyed that. And then I really kind of enjoyed the first 10 minutes of my KFC disaster and then watched uh, about seven episodes of uh, Arrested Development as mm. I fell into a like KFC disaster coma. <laughs> uh, did you do the thing where you would just like wake up every once in a while and it would just be like mid episode of <laughs> like, what? What is going on? Well, like I said, you're too lazy to get up, turn it off, and I, go to bed. I missed like three episodes in between the last one I was awake for, so I'm really not sure what's happening. I didn't fall asleep ever, but it definitely got to the point where I was like in a position on the couch and then trying to just hit the 360 <laughs> controller buttons to get to the next one. Like, like yeah. B, B, down, God. A, just go uh, again, just uh, play the next yeah. one. <laughs> uh. <But> yeah. <laughs> Man, Gloriously I mean. slothful weekend. I feel like you're... You're cleansing your soul just by know, you confessing gotta, all of this. Well, you gotta. It's one of those things where, like, I feel like I was scraping the bottom so then I could only go up. I could only come <laughs> back up. So today I've just had like two root bowls. I'm just nice. trying to, because I know it's all still in there. Oh, it's still yeah. sloshing around. <laughs> it's bad news. And then, like, you eat it all and then you have leftovers. So I didn't eat all the chicken because I had all those sides, which I ate. And then you just want to throw it out. Yep. And it's just like, I don't even want to look at this anymore. I don't want to keep it anymore. And immediately put it in a trash bag. Like by the time you'll be physically able to eat Kentucky Fried Chicken, all bad. of that will have yeah. gone bad. And I just yeah. don't want to remember it at yep. all. Just get rid of it. Make this disappear. This never the, happened. Get rid of the evidence. Yeah. What are you talking about? This has never happened. Eat yeah. the evidence. Uh, and yeah, so that was beat three games this weekend. That's a hell of a weekend. Yeah. Plus, plus your yeah, spi- beat, beat plus, myself into. Yeah, I was gonna say plus your shame spiral. Yeah, beat my pride down. Jeff, what bad decisions did you make this weekend? Uh, my food catastrophe involved pizza. Yeah, we mm, went to pizza. My roommate and I ordered some round table, mm-hmm. uh, which he then picked up, and uh, yeah, ate uh, too much pizza and had a bad stomach issue mm-hmm. from that, and had to lay down, but didn't want to lay down. It, it was one of those things where you like wake up at four in the morning, and go, I need water so bad right now, <laughs> and you're just like chugging water, yeah. but you're already you're still full. But you need the water, so it's like this is gonna just replace this problem with another problem. <laughs> sure enough, it did. Um, yeah, so poison, I did that and poison the, the house. And the whole time we were watching uh, SmackDown from like two weeks ago because my roommate went uh, with his lady friend, and they were in the front row Ooh. on like the camera side. So they're not on. They're not like behind all the wrestling action. It was always just like when there were people out of the ring, you'd see him. Yeah, his stupid fucking sweater. Uh, <laughs> Tell us about his stupid fucking sweater. A stupid cross pattern. I, I can't. I, I, you'll know it when you see it. Go back. I'm, I'm not going to watch that episode. I go do back not, to your TiVo. I don't, how do you, how point do you one, don't a, have a TiVo. Point two. How do you even wear a sweater to SmackDown? Did he like cut the sleeves off of it or something? It was or? it was some kind of sweater vest thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that he was wearing. I can other see stuff it. Stuff over, over it. and under it. His lady friend with bleach blonde front of her hair and dyed black. Anyway. Uh, so they look like a classy couple. They look like compared to fucking everyone around them. <laughs> absolutely. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Sure. Definitely. Uh, took my lady out to go see SmackDown. No, she took him. F- front row. She took him. I know. I know. Yeah. I, I maintain my statement. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> so, yeah. Kept I, woman as he is. And uh, yeah, I don't know. He, he ruined a lot of illusions about. I mean, it's been a long time since I've seen wrestling recorded for television up close. And he's like, yeah, the. The especially because that show's not live broadcast, so they edit it. So he's like, "Oh uh, yeah, there was a big mistake right here that they edited out." And and Big Show for whatever reason threw up on the mat after pinning this guy, but they cut that out. But you can see the puddle right there. Like, what the fuck is going? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. What is going on with wrestling? So <laughs> guys throwing up in the so, ring. So yeah, so yeah, we're talking about people throwing up in the ring while both of us just eating as much pizza as possible. Uh, yeah, so that that was that was pretty much that.